barbershop conversations, man. Um, appreciate you guys. I'm just going to say this and men on the internet love mediocrity. What are you talking about, Fred? The same way they fail is the same way they succeed. What are you talking about? When something great happens to you, what do you do? You get high and you drink, right? When you fail, what do you do? You get high and you drink. Now, granted, I haven't watched YouTube in the past six months for real, for real. Uh, ever since I stopped my show and probably before that, you know, I just to be honest with you guys, <laughs> six months before I stopped my show, I was really out of the loop with my show, you know, as it pertains to moving on and, and, and uh, um, going with Lincoln and Kennedy to practice. And um, when I moved here, I was like, oh, yeah, it's coming to an end. Um, but the fact that men wallow in mediocrity, it's not black, it's not white, it's men. You wallow in mediocrity. And when a man is doing great, you hate on it. And when a man tells, talks about another man ripping and robbing y'all off, y'all kill the messenger. <laughs> For example, Canelo signed with PBC. Did that change the fighters fighting once a year? Is Wilder going to fight twice this year? I'm asking. Is Gary Russell going to fight this year? Is Leo Santa Cruz going to fight this year? Will Jared Hurd fight again this year? Will Andy Ruiz fight this year? Will Luis Ortiz fight this year? Will Charles Martin fight on the PBC card this year? Will Reese Saline get a quick return after his loss? Is Tony Harrison retiring? Sebastian Fundora lost, but he's slated to come back in September. So I hear. You heard it here first. <laughs> I don't know. They say he's coming back in September. Caleb Plant, is he coming back this year? David Benavidez, is he coming back this year? Imagine if God celebrated by smoking and drinking. It should be an elevation. I had to learn this. My, my, I wasn't smoking and drinking, but I had to learn. You create more. When, when you're successful, you got to use that abundance of currency and how you feel and what you have and turn it into an asset. But you know what you do? You celebrate by going hanging out with mediocrity. Smoking and drinking and partying. You throw a party for everything. You celebrate every goddamn thing. I mean, like, cashing out, partying. But what do I know? You know, I'm a conservative. I'm frugal Freddy. Um, but... By the, by the aesthetics in the background, being frugal works. Y'all can, y'all pretty much attempt to, I don't know if y'all do it now anymore. Um, I'm going to pretend that it, that y'all do. Y'all rather listen to someone that aspires to be me than me. Who wants a family? Who wants to be financially free? Who wants to be the alpha and omega of their time? Oh. Well, you, well, outside of God, I mean, what you do with your time. I'm not playing God for all. I mean, you got some intelligent people out there that probably would have put. 
<laughs> but I'm about to go in my home gym and work out, man. That's what I'm about to do. Black men love mediocrity. Oh, they love mediocrity. You get a promotion at work, go get drunk. You lose your job, go get drunk. You get 5,000 followers on social media, you get drunk. Social media ain't working, you get drunk. Why would you start something that you're going to have to work to get rid of later? Why are you creating habits where you know you got to get rid of them later? Stop putting band-aids on your flaws. It's called mediocrity. What's that song? I don't want no mediocre. Seven out of ten are mediocre. I'm only talking to one percent right now. The 99% of y'all that's going to hate this video, good luck with your life. Get a second job. Get a third job. Work Uber. Uber carts. Uber eats. Do what you need to do. Fall in love with what you need to do. I'm in love with what I need to do. I repeat, I am in love with what I need to do. I love being a family man. Love it. Love it. I mean, love it. Like, I'm having withdrawals now from family. I'm having family withdrawals now. Like, I'm, I want to go to practice. Like, I'm like, what do I do with this time? I'm going to just be trapped in the mansion. <laughs> I'm about to go to my gym and work out, though, man. You know what I mean? We, what day are we on? How many days we have left? I don't know. But, um... It is what it is, man. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Um, yeah, man, it is. How many y'all high right now listening to this? How many y'all drunk right now listening to this? It's an epidemic. Just because they make it legal, that doesn't give you freedom. Ooh, gosh, damn it. Damn it, Fred. Where you come up with this at? Just because they make it legal doesn't give you freedom. You become a, when you pick up that bottle, you become a prisoner. When you pick up that blunt, you become a prisoner. How many people who are alcoholics, how many people drink are overweight? I know some of y'all going to say that wasn't that deep. And for some of y'all, it wasn't. It's okay. The 1% going to get it. It's easier to be free than you think. Let go of them racism scales and um, read the Constitution and leverage the Constitution if you want, if you're going to live the rest of your life in America. All right, there's 50 states in America. You, you're, you, you don't have to be landlocked in America. You don't need a passport. It's not like Europe where there's countries. You need passports to go from country to country. You have to go through customs. You don't have to go through customs in America. It is your right to go to Kansas and get a job and or start a family or a business. It is your constitutional right to go to Colorado and build a family or a business. While it is your right to stay in crime infested Harlem, South LA, Atlanta, Chicago, Philadelphia, it is your right. Which right is right? <laughs> Double entendre.
Will you right your wrongs? Will you look left and turn right? Double entendre. Will you look left and turn right? Will you look at the Democratic Party? Left, left, left. And turn right, right, right. <laughs> right. Will you look left and turn right? God, I'm a fucking genius. I'm a genius. Left, Democratic Party. Turn right. As in right with God, not right Republican. <laughs> Woo. Y'all need to clip that, man. Y'all need to clip that. That was, that was flawless. <laughs> it's your choice. The choice is yours. Men, are you going to wallow in mediocrity and use your keypad to say Fred has an ego? I do have an ego. Fred is a narcissist. I had to be a narcissist. Is Fred an opportunist? You absolutely. I read the Constitution. You know what I mean? I know tax laws. I know what the interest rates are. I know when to invest. I know when to put my money into a CD. I know when to put my money in the stocks. That's called being a real opportunist. This boxing, this YouTube stuff, who cares? I don't care about this boxing shit. No. Shall, should I say no more? Don't care. It means nothing to me. The characters in boxing means nothing to me. I'm using them to emotionally rile you up to get you to the truth. You know what I mean? I don't care about Al Heyman, but I know you do. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. God damn. I can't believe I said that. Will you look left and then turn right? Will you put goals at the top top of your paper and write your wrongs? <laughs> Will you put your write your goals at the top of the paper and write your wrongs and physically write your wrongs? Quadruple entendre. <laughs> I'm going to the gym, y'all. Sometimes I amaze myself, man. I'm gone, man. Enjoy that blunt, y'all. Enjoy that weed, you know what I mean? Enjoy partying, enjoy and having the only sense of masculinity you have is in the comment section and making videos. I don't celebrate. Yeah, I, I celebrate. You see how I celebrate? I upgrade it. And ain't no end in sight. No, ain't no end in sight. No, this is forever. Watch the next movie I do. Watch. It's coming in the next two years. I don't know when it's... I don't know. I got I to gotta work on it. We'll see. We'll see. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Y'all have a wonderful evening, a wonderful morning. And uh, I'm, I'm going to stay trapped in this mansion. 